are the cinder blocks that we got for the goat pen. Yeah. I just want to set them up because I don't want them jumping off the house and landing on one. They jump up on the their house. So I don't want them jumping off their house and right. breaking the foot or something. So I'll have to kind of strategically put them around. Try to make a little path for them, but keep it away from that house. So we decided to get these so we can put them in the pen and it'll help keep their hoofs a little bit trimmed, I guess, in better shape. You ain't got goats. It is a pain in the butt. I assume when goats live in the mountains and whatnot, they're on rocky, rocky ground, rocky soil, like goats in the wild. So uh, that probably keeps them down. Another good reason to have a wagon. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, we're gonna try to get maybe a couple of smaller ones. I would like to get two more, but smaller versions of this yeah. one. But we have the sides off right now. It's gonna be a considerable amount smaller, but I think you can still take the sides off. Like I got the sides off on this one right now. Yeah. I got some little metal sides that stick in. It works good, but they're kind of banged up. I probably need to paint. I probably need to paint this. I need to paint that trailer right there. At what? About 10 year old trailer, probably. Paint that. They don't get messed up. I need to put some new floorboard over the over the uh, the metal grate stuff they got. Because if you roll up in there or, or too rough with that, you'll mess it up. So you got to put wood over that. see yeah that's not too bad see we need to get some harnesses for the goats they can pull my, pull my blocks that's a nesting box that Jacob's working on so we'll post a different video on that yeah I'll show you real quick Okay. I'll show you the finished product in another time. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna roll over me. <laughs> can you lift this up? Can you reach in there? And when you're reaching in there, you know, you could put your arm like that, I'm sure. It'd be fine. This is probably a little overboard. This is a little bit too bigger than you need to. It's almost big enough for two ends. But I made this. I made this. For, can, uh, and it doesn't seem to reach for some reason. I think I might have changed something. Oh, there you go. See? That way it don't fall on your head. But I'm gonna come up with some other ways, maybe a little latch or something. I'm working on a, a smaller box right now. I'm gonna make some for us and perhaps sell some at a flea market or whatnot if they come out good. Working on ideas for it, but I like the uh, paneling right here on the sides I got the paneling and I painted it oh I uh, used stain uh, barn red stain and I think that looks really nice but yeah I like that color yeah barn red okay onward onward don't smush any chickens out of my 
my way. No hanky panky. <laughs> You got the tires filled up, filled up, man. It's really not bad. And if it is really heavy, you can always have someone push the back, push on the back a little bit. It's a good wagon. Mm -hmm. The handle flips, so you can you can attach it to your ride on lawnmower, which I normally do, but I'm waiting. Thanks to uh, the big V. Is that what we're calling it now? I don't know. I'm waiting on something from the mail that should have been here at the beginning of April um, for my lawnmower, for my ride on a park. So I can use that. They don't have they don't have this attached to the lawnmower and I can put whatever I need around the yard. I didn't have we didn't have this when we first bought the house. But it's awesome. I wish I wish we would have had this. So doing all the work that we had to do around here and stuff. It's been awesome to attach it to my lawnmower, being able to move stuff easy. Alright. You guys see how I'm going to lay this out. Like I said, I guess they ain't got to be too strategic, but I don't want it jumping off. Like you said, they normally just kind of slide off, right? Yeah, usually. As long as I'm not too close to it, it should be fine. Well, probably after this video, we might move them around. Yeah. So, it might not look the same next time. Yeah. And there's Yoshi standing on some right now. Probably they like it, you know. I think that they'll enjoy it because it gets so muddy in here. Yeah. And uh, they're all the straw down right now, but that's yeah. gonna sink in. It's so, it rains. I don't know what it's like where you're at, but it rains every other day for the last like two months. Every other day it'll rain. Um, sometimes a lot, sometimes not a lot, but it rains like every other day, so it's hard to schedule to get stuff done. It's muddy mess. <laughs> when we started to do their hooves the other day, they're pretty caked in mud. Yes. Yep. We've still got like what seven more goats sure. to trim. Hopes on, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pain, but hopefully, uh, eventually, we can get like the electric grinder thing, and that'll work good. And, uh, hopefully, that's what I read. You need, you need to use gloves. She's the one that does the trimming and grinding. I hold the goat, and she gets her hand most of the time. Yeah. And it's a great like thing. I'm not doing like, it without a glove. Like grating cheese. Yeah. Instead of cheese, it's yeah. my hand. Grating <laughs> <laughs> Chickens. Some of the chickens are roosting over there. Yeah. We got a roof now. Their roof has been <sighs> yeah. in the park for a while. I think when we had some really strong wind, that blew off, and it still might. But I tried to take my time today with it and tie it up good. So hopefully. Hopefully it'll be all right. So, I got a food trough over here. So now it should stay fairly dry over here, but you know, kind of underneath this now. So 
which is how I had it before, but that fell off a while ago. So hopefully it'll turn out better this time. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. I guess the main support I got is a big uh, cargo strap where you use the ratchet and stuff down on your trailer or your truck. But, but yeah, I think, I think, I'm hoping this is gonna work really well right here gutter thing you know the drain a lot of the water is going to go that way i could have covered this a little bit more but unless i have a post really up high which i i might you know if i have to but i'm not really worried about this because most of this is going to be trashed when we rebuild their new new house well it might be used but it's not going to be like important like yeah. standing on recycle and then we recycle that's why I use screws take the screw out and make something <laughs> yeah so what are we doing making a trail yeah I don't know Probably have to play around with it or something. Yeah, have to play around with it. See, see what, what? Yeah, see, see how they stand on it, maybe. Yeah, see how they like it and stuff too. They'll probably love it. They'll probably love popping around. I just want to keep it away from this. I think that's far enough away. Right there. So they usually jump up there and then they slide down. they can get to their house. <laughs> really muddy. I think sometimes people actually get gravel and they'll put it like to the entrance way of the house. Yeah. Way. Oh, I'm not sure how that'll work. I'm sure. Yeah. Because this is going to be our garden area, so anything that we put in here is going to have to be taken out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really hoping we can get that truck going. We're going to be fighting with the rain this week. I think you said three, four days it was supposed to I rain. I think so. Yeah. I think. I don't remember exactly, but I think there's like a tropical storm or something that's supposed to be. Coming over to the east coast. But we may already have it when this video is posted. So. Oh, yeah. So don't listen to me. Check your weather. I don't know. We'll mess with it later. There you go. Alright. Tires. I'll put some tires too, but I need to be able to walk in here and get the stuff, so I don't want to put yeah. so much that I'm tripping over stuff. Yeah, and the goats too. Yeah. I think that's good. Maybe I'll put some more tires in the back in case they want to go. Right. Tires back there. Tire there, some over there. Got tons, like in the back of the property. You want to close it out? Peace out. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Ding.